What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to play some Dominaria Remastered, and this is the first draft I've done of this format, and we have hopes that it will fire, but the most trophies is five, so I guess that's a good amount for like two days, right? I don't know. I had a concern that like it wasn't firing because I'm like, oh no, the most trophies is three, but I guess at that point it's only been up for like a day, so maybe that's fine. Got a tasty, delicious Yoohoo. Yoohoo, not a sponsor, you know. Oh, look at these cards. This is fantastic. Do I just take this for... Because it's so good. Oh, God. These layers are terrible, man. I'm going to take Lyra Dawnbringer because that's a, that's a slam dunk of a card. And Flame Tongue Kavu is also very good. So is Mana War. This reminds me of Vintage Masters a lot. Mostly because a lot of these cards were in Vintage Masters. But, you know. I've heard good things about the draft format, so fingers crossed. Thank you! Mooch will be with 58 months. Oh my god. I think Michael's at the gym right now. I went to the living room, and our porch light was on. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Who would have left that on? And it was probably Michael, because he wants to have light when he comes in the house. And then I came downstairs, and his bedroom door was open. And I was like... Oh, I think he's gone. Uh, this is not a phantom draft. This is a normal 120 play point draft. Oh, Denizen of the Deep? Guys, we're going we're going deep. Listen to this, listen to this junker. When it enters the battlefield, return each other creature you control to its owner's hand. It's an eleven eleven for eight mana. And then they kill it. Shut and up you and have take nothing. my money. You who we are going to need you to cease this unauthorized product placement. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Yoo-hoo. Um, I don't know what the archetypes in this format are. And honestly, I put that on me. But I kind of like Terror here because it's just very good. It was either Dog or Michelle. What? Right, Dog or... What are you saying right now? I think Terror is better than Rager, right? Come on, this is just like quintessential removal. I'm gonna take the terror because I think you're a mis I think you're a I think you're a friend that's misleading me. No more than two creatures can attack you each combat. Crawl space actually seems pretty decent. Put a one-one counter on a creature. Oh, what up, Jano? I feel much more confident saying Jano now that I know it's a it's a nickname that that was made up. Okay, hold on. Your real name is Janice, right? Or is it is it Yanis or is Janice? Because like that would influence whether it's Jano or Yano, right? Whether it's a Y sound or a J sound. Because it comes from something. Could you please force Storm? Is Storm a deck in this in this set? What does this guy do? As long as you have seven more cards, it gets plus one, plus one, and has... That's, that's, that's decent. When there's a battlefield, each opponent discards a 2-1 for four mana. I think we just take... Crawl space? I don't know if that's good. It doesn't affect my attacks, just theirs, so that's got to be good, right? I like an Icker Slick. That's just good. You madness it, then you... You know. Uprising is a three for one. Tell me what Uprising is. Tell it to me. Is it is a card I passed because I'm not I'm not good at Magic the Gathering? Is that why? Let me find out. For those who didn't know, I have top eight at a Pro Tour before. <laughs> Urborg Uprising. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, if it was an instant, it's like five mana, man. Mana man. There's a storm deck that uses Empty the Warrens. Fascinating. Phyrexian Debaser. <laughs> Why is it debasing itself like this? Uh, target creature gets negative two, negative two. This is a two, two flyer for four that can remove something. That's pretty good. These guys drive me insane. It's a three, three for five that dies very slowly. I, I think it's just the Debaser here. I have no idea if this is an archetype that I'm drafting or if it's just cards. 
When Cleric of the Forward Order enters battlefield, gain two life for each creature you control named Cleric of the Forward Order. How many can we get? There are several cards in, I believe it's just Torment. Um, it might be Judgment too, actually. That look pixelated like they were just taken, like, from a, from a, like a, it's like a poor quality JPEG. I'll take Radiance Judgment. Janus is the origin. It comes from the Roman god for doors and time. And yes, you can force storm. <laughs> the horns are great. I guess that does make sense why these are in here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm totally fine saying Jan Jano then. Street Wraith is actually just a three four swamp walker for five. You can cycle that dude. Sure. What is this? Look at this Legends card. Target player draws a card. It's a 1-2 flyer for 3. And for 3 mana and a tap. I'm going to take Mystic Zealot. Maybe we're putting cards in the graveyard. Who knows? Flying first strike 3-3. Three, three. When it deals damage, you gain that much life. Okay. I mean, you know, back in my day, we just called it lifelink. But tap a creature. Tap two creatures. I'll, I'll take a tapper. Is our deck good? Nobody knows. You guys probably know. I have no idea. Did you guys hear my voice crack a little bit there? Puberty, am I right? Uh, I can still play the order part, so that's pretty good. I'm just taking this because it's a solid land. Give me them retro basics. Is Death Shadow in this set? No. Death Shadow is not a card from Dominaria. Keep in mind, by Dominaria Remastered, these are all cards from the plane of Dominaria. Your Wrath of God's pretty good. How are you going to play Straight Wraith with no Death Shadow? Sandstorm, hell of a card, it's true. And it's a retro frame Wrath of God? That's better than a regular Wrath of God. That's probably the best card for us, too, so I guess that's what we take. Sounds good. These are so bad, dude. These are Trilands before, like, Crumbling Necropolis and, you know, Seaside Citadel. But when they enter the battlefield, you have to sack it unless you return a regular land you control to your hand. They were like, it was such a it was such a privilege to play a tri-land back then. I think it's Mindstone here. Look at this look at this uh, old school Phyrexian uh, uh, negator. When it deals damage to a creature or opponent, it deals that much damage to you. I'm gonna take Mindstone. Not only does it draw us a card, but it ramps us to all these four and five drops. Mm. One thing to take note about Decimate is that you actually can't cast it unless you have a legal target for everything. So if there's only an artifact, a creature, and a land on board, and you have no enchantment, you literally just can't cast it. It's kind of sad. I, I was considering this for the cube at one point, and then I was like, that's terrible. Swords of Plowshares seems fantastic. Also, pacifism good, too. But it's no swords to plowshares, let's be honest. Ooh, Phyrexian Scuda. Oh, man, this was the... This was meant to be a Juzam Jin replacement. So it's a 3-3 three, three for 4, but it becomes a 5-5 five, five for 4 if you pay 3 life. Um, unfortunately, it did not hold up very well back then in the formats that it was meant to be played in although a deck called machine head did win it's either worlds or a pro tour i mean i'm still gonna take it i think because it's five five for four uh, machine head won in the hands of tom vandalo at worlds 2001 
it is also one of the decks I've put together in my iconic deck uh, project, of which I have, like, currently I have, like, 86 decks now. <laughs> the project really exploded, but they're not all completed. I'd probably say 60% are completed or so. Okay, well, that's not that's not how you spell his last name. Um, I'm going to take another Mind Stone. Uh, you know, I mean, we're just playing Constructed here, right? So we're stoning. I want to stone it with you. I'm stoning. Could just take an Urborg Uprising. Like, bringing back Lyra or Phyrexian Debaser. <laughs> yeah, we'll just take the Uprising. And like Rob said, it's a three for one, you know? And you get to draw a card. Come on. This is one of my favorite portal lands. This was originally in Portal Second Age, I believe. And it's uh, it's done by an artist named Romas, R-O-M-A-S. And it's like $6 for the portal copy. Uh, this was going to be my one of my lands of choice for my Vintage Q, but I just didn't want to spend $6 a piece on 40 lands. But... One day I might. Because it's a very good land. Nothing great here. I'll just take this. Whatever. Dragon's blood. Sure. Um, How good... I wonder how good cycling lands are. Eh, it might be fine. I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing else that we're really going to play here. It's funny to see Jalem Tome at common. I mean, this is just... The, even if we can't kick it, Orm's Thunder still destroys an artifact or enchantment. So, that's probably fine to have. Flesh Reaver. <laughs> a little bit frightening. Remedy. Yeah. This is also a great land, uh, which I believe is from Time Spiral. If I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Island Time Spiral. Yeah, it's a Time Spiral land. Time Spiral Island 289. Yeah, oh, and we look at that. Look at that. It's like we got rewarded for... <laughs> I'll just play it. Yeah, it's this it's this time spiral land. Which is very good. It's a very good land. It's like I got rewarded for uh for talking that swamp up. A gemstone mine? Oh, that's rare. I'm very tempted to splash flame tongue kavu, but I have no idea how good splashing is. Because I haven't seen any so far. But Flame Tongue Kavu's got to be like MVP, right? Icker Slick is also great, but I'm going to take... I'm gonna, God, how, what, how many ways? What are we seeing? There's literally no fixing in this set, right? But we passed a Flame Tongue in pack one and in pack three, so who's ever sitting next to us is getting double Flame Tongue Kavu's. And honestly, I think morally, I just... I'm conflicted about that. Yeah, there's layers, but there's not Mardu layers is the problem. So we would have to get um, like one of the allied layers, like uh, you know, like Bant, Esper, etc. I, th I I think the upside is high. Uh, just take the Icarus, like just take the Icarus, like just be just be reasonable. Ooh, are these cards worth anything? I have no idea what these cards are worth on here. I'm going to check real quick, because if, like, Borderless Enlightened Tutor is worth anything, you know, it might be worth taking, but... God, I haven't rare-drafted in ages. Enlightened Tutor, Dominator Mastered, uh, Borderless. It's like two tickets. If only it was real life, though, you know? Look, another Icker Slick. Target creature gets negative one. Creatures are up there. Eh, that's unimpressive. An artifact or an enchantment? That gets like nothing I really care about, unfortunately. 
Mine is fixing, I guess, but it's in the same pack as the... Uh, <laughs> as the card we want. Guys, look, another Icker Slick. Jesus. Uh, so, Gerard's Verdict, not bad. They discard two cards, you gain three life for each land. Or Sarah Avatar, equal to the number of... You can see your life total. So, I think I'm a bigger Verdict fan, yeah. Like, Sarah Avatar, if I have four life and I top deck this thing, like... That's terrible. What's the what's the what's the life total that you have to be at to make it worth it? Like anything over six, probably. Which actually gives you quite a sizable range. All nightmares get plus one plus one. Put target creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That creature is black and is a nightmare. That let's do chainer. That's also a three three for five. You know that's great. Oh, I do like an Undead Gladiator. What's a wall of junk? Return to Turner's hand at the end of combat. <laughs> that is junk. You're right. It's right in the name. Uh, yeah, let's take Undead Gladiator. He's a good He's a good man. Another decoy. This set is feeling small. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of repeats. Somebody find out how many cards are in this set. Someone tell me. Like, I could get three Mind Stones. I could have gotten, like, four Icker Slicks. I'm getting a second Nomad Decoy here. I just don't want a third Mind Stone. I'm probably not going to play three. Even if it cycles. Another Dragon Engine, which I have. Plus X, plus O. Oh, this is Hal from Beyond. I just didn't recognize the art. Yeah, I'll just take Icacian Javelineers, I guess. Uh, it definitely feels like a slow format based on all these four and five drops. I mean, I could probably cut an Icker, an Icker Slick, but that just doesn't feel correct. Spells cost one less to cast. Keep in mind, this is for everyone, not just you. I'm going to look up Foil Helm of Awakening. I guess we could just take Oromancer. Do we have any? We have like no enchantments, right? So I guess Dread Return might be even better. This is also one of the best uh, Odyssey basic lands that, that ever existed. I'll just take the two the two drop, whatever, I'll take renewed faith. Oh wow. Oh yeah, taking another one of these guys for sure. Actually, you know what? Phantom Flock's probably better. This is twenty two cards, so I have to find some kind of Hmm. Hey Tony, thank you so much for doing so, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, Katie and I have definitely been enjoying it. We had two of the meals so far. We've had sweet corn and green pepper chowder and the Tuscan chicken and kale spaghetti. Both are very good. <sighs> Rob, how was your Tuscan chicken? We thought it was great. So, sort by mana cost. Uh, oh, we already did that. Cool. Uh, these are kind of more four drops. This can be a free card. <laughs> this is still 22, and I'm kind of wondering if I just played 24, 7, 18 lands. Or we can play Jalem Tome, because we actually have quite a few things that work with the graveyard, including, like, Myst Mystic Zealot. Or we can just play, like, one Icacian Javelinier. But also Nomad's Decoy is good with Threshold. Uh, 
Also, we don't have Dread Return in here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Fresh. Hello, Fresh here. Just wanted to check in and make sure everyone is properly nourished. God, it's so nice of Fresh to check in. Yeah, Jalen's home seems all right. We do have a lot of control in our deck as well. So I'm wondering if we're like more of a control deck. I kind of just want to reanimate Lyra 10 times. I mean, we have Radiance Judgment, three Icker Slick, Wrath of God, Terror, Crawl Space is even decent for us. I think this is probably our deck. Yeah, this seems, this, this seems like something. Eight, eight, 17, no, we're gonna go up a black drop of whites. So this is nine, eight. Oh, which ones are they using? Oh my god, the two best ones. That's so exciting. I do like Dreader Turn, but I also have Chainer and um, Urborg Uprising to get her back. So, I mean, like, I don't think I need to cast her that many times. But actually, maybe. But I also don't see myself flashing back Dreader Turn because it's just, we're just not, not going to have three creatures. See, this is enough lands that I feel comfortable not playing Drifting Meadow. Because we have four draw steps to hit another basic. And that's going to definitely let us keep it. Look at that little guy. Aquamoeba, take me by the hand. Get our verdict on. Polluted Mire and an Urborg Siphon Mage. Wow. Mono Urborg Siphon Mage dot deck. Huh. So I think we just play Mindstone here. Cycle this, and then next turn play a Lyra. Also, cycling helps with the, um, you know, the threshold. Don't counter my spell, bro. Don't terror my Lyra, bro. Bruv. Dark Withering. That's a fucking banger. No, don't like that. Royal Assassin. Huh. I'm going to cycle this guy, and we're going to kill probably the Aquamu on their turn.
Actually, I think it's the Urborg Siphon Mage. I mean, I want to get rid of the Royal Assassin, but really, like, I think we have to get rid of the Royal Assassin, actually. But then, like, this puts us on a really good clock. We take three. This guy makes it very hard to attack. Right, Terror can't hit Black Dudes. That's why I'm trying to figure out which to hit with the Icker Slick. Because we only get to kill one of these two creatures with Icker Slick. Because we don't get to terror the other one. So I'm trying to figure out. Like I think it's I think it's Siphon Mage. Cause I think we have two more Icker Slicks and a Wrath of God, so like. And I think we're just trying to survive now. This guy blocks all of their things, which is kind of nice. And if they want to, if they want to discard Frock with me, but a trade, that's a two for one. So I'm okay with that. We're also gonna crack Mindstone, or yeah, my crack Mind. We didn't play Crawl Space because we don't have to worry about them attacking with more than two guys this turn. So it's not a, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, right. We have time to deal with the assassin. No blocks. Kill this guy. We should have drawn first, because if we hit, like, Wrath of God, then we don't want to waste our terror. So, do as I say, not as I do, kids. I wish that guy had first strike. <laughs> Or not first strike, vigilance rather. It does have first strike. Yeah, I meant vigilance because I want to get past this guy. But God, this form it's like mono removal, dude. I want to keep at least one land in hand for like Jalem Tome or any other potential things we can do. Oh, good. A Swamp Walker. Oh, Power for a Greater? Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five. What are we getting back? Lyra? Uh, I guess it'll be the two creatures we have in there. That sounds okay. Another land. Sounds good. Okay. I mean, maybe they pump this guy, you know? And see, now the now the Royal Assassin is a problem because we cannot tap their guys down. Seems good. Well, we got him to 19, so that's satisfying. So one, two, play this, crack it, hit Wrath of God, win the game. So where's the plowshares? That does the thing we want. No blocks. Kill your own street wraith. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow. 
That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. And I guess we're not dead just this second. One, two, three. I guess we'll I guess we'll pay the correct amount for this. Icker slick. Icker slick. Ha <laughs> ha! Cast kill this idiot. One, two, three. How about now? I should have kept another white up, but, you know. Is this real? How is this real? I mean, I guess it's just a 2-2 two -two now, but still. Oh, you're killing that guy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're just dead. Sounds good. Oh, they can only attack with two guys. So we're not dead yet. That's pretty good. Crawl space doing some heavy lifting here, apparently. Go to three. I think they're out of things. Which is a vibe. As the kids would say. So as long as I can stay above three, I'm golden. This is what I mean. This format seems... This, this set seems way too small. Did anyone actually tell me how many cards are in this set? Because... It feels like not enough. Yep, that is currently one, two, three, three Icker Slicks from them. Only two from me, though, you know? So, do I have... I have ten mana exactly, so I can play both of these guys. Hilarious. Meanwhile, they only have seven lands, so we've drawn more lands than they have by three. So deep analysis. Sounds good. I'm sure you drew two removal spells. Okay. Well. Uh, there's a Dark Withering and three Icker Slicks. 457 cards. Is that including all the variants? How many individual cards are in this set? Because it definitely doesn't seem like there's that many. Javelineers actually takes out... Uh, what's his name? Royal Assassin, so that's pretty good. Sort by... Ah, oh, the old Fred return. A classic. 12,943 with variants? That sounds correct, yeah. Um... Yeah, I kind of agree with that, and I also think I do want Ication Javelin here, because, let's be honest, that dude's a pain in the ass. Radiant Judgment didn't seem to hit any creature that they had. I'm also not sure how good Crawl Space would be. I don't think Jalem Tome's necessary either. Like, we didn't really need to be uh, drawing extra cards. Interesting. I'll keep this. I think we have a good amount of time before we actually have to, like... Oh, perfect. Beautiful. We're doing it. I think we want to save this until we actually, like, can hit some decent stuff. 
it's nice to play it on curve when you have nothing else to do, but... Isn't that guy cute? This costs six mana to cycle. Is it worth the card? How much? We take like a million damage if we just wait, right? I mean, I think we're just in the, the killing game, right? Like, that's just what this is. We each kill each other's stuff until we run out of... Ooh, that's a banger. I mean, it's dead, but it's a banger nonetheless, you know? And we're going to play it now because we want to play either one of these next turn. Probably Street Wraith. Also, Street Wraith does not get killed by Icker Slick. 275 cards. That seems... That's so weird. Because, like, why do, we, why do we each have, like, four of every card in our deck? It's your boy. <laughs> hmm. Also, still have that Hello Fresh promo going for a few more days until February 1st. So if you guys have not done so and you want to support the channel, definitely check it out. You get 21 free meals over the course of your first eight deliveries along with free shipping. So uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, and I say I'm, I'm, I'm under selling it there. It's a very good deal. Uh, you get four. It, the, your first order is going to have meals for like four to five dollars, depending on how many you get and what you get. So fascinating. Yeah, Royal Assassin sure is an a hole. What is a zombie barbarian? Okay. Uh, they have no cards, so I'm kind of just going to play my guys out here. I have no access to American privileges. This is going well. Uh, yeah, no attacks for me. Dominaria features 261 regular cards, 101 commons, 80 uncommons, 60 rares, 20. That sounds like a normal distribution. I, maybe it was a fluke? There's no way it was a fluke, though, right? So I have eight lands, they have six lands. Hmm. I'm actually going to hold on to that guy if we get to a point where we want to, like, Wrath of God. Is this just my graveyard? Put their creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield. Huh. Boy, that is better, isn't it? And I don't have to tap it to do that. I think they're just going to win with this Street Wraith. Wrath of God would be cool here. I'll take it. Urborg Uprising. Thanks a lot, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go to seven, go to four, go to two. <sighs> yeah, we just have to draw too many things now. They like, 
this is a weird format where like if they just get street right down against a black deck they win or, or roll it like all three of these cards are just very good against us right now we can't attack them because of royal assassin which means their herbwork siphon mage is doing a great job i think we're just dead because we have to kill this and this i guess wrath of god still does that puts us to two let's draw wrath of god that's not it okie dokie it'll be the next card though not for a while. All right, well. I even maximize the number of cards that deal with uh, Royal Assassin. I might just want this. Just to exile their stupid Street Wraith. Crawl Space actually doesn't seem like it's doing a ton of work. They don't have a ton of cards and... We're killing most of their creatures anyway. Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Yeah, I'm wondering. Hello. Oof. Uh, you know what? What the hell? Any one, any white source is good for us, right? It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. And they went to six. They're basically dead. I feel like Mikey B would do a terrible Jeff Goldblum impression, mostly because I think he doesn't do good impressions of things. So. <laughs> I really do hate that man. I told them we need locking mechanisms on the vehicle doors. Maze of Ith. You know, that's a good one. That is a good one. Any white source here would be great. Oh, they missed the land drop. They missed two land drops, technically. Um, I'm going to pass. I don't want to cycle this. I think it's almost too good. Okay. here's This is where we, this is where we come back. Okay, now I'm going to cycle one. Because, <laughs> come on. I got to hit lands, you know? We didn't, though. So that's cool. I'm having a good time. Uh, let's get rid of... Yep, they did the same. So now I feel better about it. Let's get rid of Dread Return. Oh, good. At least someone drew land, so that's nice. Really happy for them. I wanna get better, better, better. This is when they go Mana War. And then we're going to be like, cool, we take three damage for nothing. Rager. <sighs> really got to work hard to get through Maze of Ith, though, you know? If damage would be dealt to it, sounds good. Sure. Oh, wonderful. Uh. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> what? what a fun format this is. Jesus Christ, what a fucking miserable format. I'm having a good time. Oh, boy. Every every creature in my hand dies to uh Dies to Acre Slick. Oh that's cool. Oh boy. Cast with that kicker. 
Like, we just have to play this as a 5 5 because of Kicker, and it's like. We just have to assume they don't have another mana war. We never saw two, so. Today, Junior? You have one black mana. What are you going to do? You're going to counter it? You have Force of Will? They're going to Force of Will this. Unbelievable. Oh boy. They're just figuring out which blue card they're going to exile. They resolved. Okay. Well, that was weird. Put my hood up. Can I do that? Is this cooler? Do I look more like a wizard now? I bet I do. This is my wizard look. Uh, no, I know Force is in the set. I was literally thinking they had Force. Chlorophyll, more like Borophyll. Solid, solid follow-up. You look like a Sith Lord that was playing a card game. Nailed it. That feels on brand. They also can't cycle an Icker Slick here, so that's good. I guess they can discard it to Aquamoeba and cast it for Madness, but... We kept up Terror and Swords. You got it. See you later, pal. Enjoy your life. I would also like some life. I mean, it, the problem is this Maze of Ith, where we just have to have multiple creatures attacking. Four cards, huh? Cycle, one, two... Sad. Sad. Very sad. So we tap with both. Return this guy and take two, and then we have a 5-5 five, five blocker still. Alternatively, we take like seven. So. I don't think we win that race. Vexing Sphinx. Discard a card. Fascinating. With a little love and this vexing sphinx. Gonna kill it. I'm gonna murder it. General Kenobi. This 
This is a this is a hell of a hand look they're doing here. Really taking their time, huh? Okay, they did it. Okay, so they're getting rid of their Icker Slick, probably to kill my floaty boy. They did not. Okay, sounds good. Fascinating. So they just got rid of Terror and Icker Slick? Wild. Kill this thing immediately. I think their last card is a circular logic. It was not. I also hope it's not a bomb, but I mean, a 4 4 flyer that we can't deal with is also a bomb at this point, so it's like, what are you going to do? Sure, 2 2 flyer. When it dies, you draw a card. Got it. Ooh, I like that. And it exiles, so we don't even get to they don't even get to draw their card. One, two. Now nah, we're just gonna keep up the the order. Have not seen Wrath, correct. In three games, we have not drawn Wrath of God one time. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Darth Sidious. Did you kill the younglings yet? <laughs> oh, get right on it. Get right on it. I, I'd like to point out how, how much work this Maze of Ith is doing. Oh, God. Sure. Surey dirty. I will not pay six. Eight? I will definitely not pay it that second time you're asking me. I wonder if I just killed him all going to now. It feels correct. I'm less scared of their two twos. They could have flipped it back, but then we're just trading their last card for our two two flyer. It doesn't matter, they're just gonna maze of it their own guy. What, they didn't? Yes, Icker Slick. Got it. Got it. Look how full these graveyards are, man. <laughs> this is wild. Ah, oh, yes. Damiba. Jesus, this is ridiculous. Every deck gets threshold. Uh, you do have a Wrath of God and you're a Wrath of God deck, don't you? I don't think so. Fucking Maze of Ith, man. This is unbeatable. I kind of just have to hope they outdraw us. And considering we have fewer cards, it's not going to happen. Oh, now we're even. No, we get to draw first, though. Dang it. Oh, they cycled again. We're winning. <laughs> oh, we're losing. It's all happening. Good friggin' lord. I 
I just can't attack. Like, it's unreal. If we get Lyra down, we can start attacking with both. Maybe that does something. But it literally requires us drawing Lyra. So, that's that's a start. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This costs six. So, we can't play Lyra, but I'm definitely not not drawing a card. One, two, three, four. Because we do have a planes in hand that we can just play. Yep. Sure. Oh, we got a Dread Return. We can cast that, huh? No cards in hand. I am donezo. I don't actually know what to make of this format, to be honest with you. I might do one more just to make sure I'm not, like... Okay. <laughs> Katie. Oh my god. All right, sounds good. Fashionably late to the party, buddy. Fashionably late to the party. Tap two target creatures. No lands, though, huh? I can't tap lands with that. That would be cool. I love this set and think it's amazing as you through the local drafters, but played with a friend who had an awful time. I mean, I hope I'm just one of the... I hope this is just an outlier match. You got it. Get your rage on. Oh, good. Your, your friend and mine. You're bouncing a swamp, so we need to have swamp and Urborg guy in hand. I think we're just holding Wrath of God. I don't think we're discarding Wrath here, it's just too good. I don't know how they win though, you know what I mean? Remedy is insane, tell me what Remedy does. Like the like the prevent, six, prevent five damage? Yeah, we're definitely passing here. And then, because we're not going to have Wrath of God until they cast Herborg Siphoner. Yeah. And then we can go Wrath into Street. Wrath into Wraith. Next turn we can discard our swamp to get undead gladiator back. I'm 
Might as well play them. They have six cards left in their deck. Can any of them win them the game? That's the question. So hold on, let's count the lands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Probably eleven without this. So that means six of these are lands. So that means there's only like three spells. Sure. And it's just like a mega grind fest. They did have both both siphon mages should be in the graveyard. I think Urborg Siphon Mage. Maybe not. Interesting. I thought I thought I thought we got them both. I think I mean they got one back with Urborg Uprising, I guess that's probably what I'm thinking of. But does that give them enough time? If they play it now, they draw a card, draw a card, draw a card, upkeep, kill us. <laughs> Vexing Sphinx and Siphon Mage again. Sounds good. <sighs> Wonderful. That's exactly what... Oh, it does draw a card, actually. Fascinating point. Oh, I think they do still have a deep analysis. Wow, it's like kind of hilarious memorizing all their cards. So we know they have deep anal in their deck. See, a double siphon mage is probably exactly what you need. That's pretty good. <sighs> Can we get a nicker slick? Do we have one? Maybe. <laughs> all right, it's gotta be gotta be quick though. Hmm, fascinating. I think Maze of Ith single-handedly won them this game. I don't think this is even a, a close game if they don't have Maze of Ith. Uh, in order to dread return, we have to sacrifice our Lyra. Phantom Flock, no. Uh, Chainer, no. Phyrexian Debaser, that's too slow. Scoot is slow. Mystic Zealot. Nomad Decoy, no. Nope. I think we're just going to lose if we don't draw removal next turn, because I, I actually, I think we're probably already dead, because we have to kill both of them. Al Alpha doesn't do anything here. They take six, they go to 14. They can even take it all and just kill us with an, with an attack almost. Negative two, negative two doesn't work because it only kills one of them. They just targeted us with deep analysis. Wow. That's classy. That was a fun game. Chainer brings back their ragers. I mean, yes, but it brings it back to... To, to them, right? Or to us, right? Like, that's not... Under your control, yeah, like... Plus, we're at... Five, so... How do I get back to the... <laughs> edit deck, I guess. That's what we gotta do. Alright. Actually, let's take out the Jalem Tome. I think there's just, there might actually be like enough cycling and things in this format where you just don't need that. I 
guess we'll just bring this in. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we already have one decoy. I don't know if we need, do we need two decoys? Yeah, we're like, we're never, they're never going to take five because we, they have, they have Maze of Ith. Like, that's the whole point, right? Like, that's why we weren't attacking for 30 turns because they just have Maze of Ith. All right, we'll just go up to 11 creatures and play a second Nomad. Any day now, let's fire this round. Play as many as you can. <laughs> Seven. I mean, three mana is just the, the rough part for a one-two. But apparently if the last game is any indication, like, we don't, we're not hurting for lands. Into each heart. Also, if you guys are interested, check out HelloFresh. They're a great sponsor of the channel currently, and I get an awesome kickback for each subscription. And you guys, if you really want to, you can cancel after the first week, so there's no real commitment. It's a great way to try some new foods that are fresh and delicious. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel and help me pay my rent while I'm currently uh, unemployed after being laid off and looking for a new opportunity. So I would definitely check it out if I were you. If you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do so. And you get food out of it, so it's not even free for me. It's not even like it's not even like you're just give you're just donating and then getting nothing back. Is what I mean by free. Hey man, I haven't seen you in years. I used to be a huge fan. You're actually the reason I really delved into magic. Back during Gravity Catharsis, you made a Sultite control deck that won me over. Still remember. That's awesome, dude. Yes. Sultai is the, the bread and butter of magic. <laughs> Big Kid Boom. Thanks for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. So, verdict in the crawl space. Just like Richard Garfield intended. You are fresh and delicious. No, you. Canadians, am I right? I never deals damage to... Oh, yeah, we know that guy. I know you. So now we're racing, I guess. Are they mono black? I wonder. This is a great mountain. This is a great mountain. I love that they're they're suicide blacking us here. That is classic. Classic quality. See, ideally we're gonna play crawl space, draw Wrath of God, then play Lyra. And they're not gonna have any way to deal with that. Uh in reality. We're just going to take seven here. Fascinating. Yep, see? That's what I, that's what I presumed. I'm, we're just going to, oh no, Wicker Slick is a sorcery. Oh God, I'm so stupid. I forgot it was a sorcery. That's really dumb. Otherwise, I would have killed the Wretched Anurid and taken one less damage. I think we're still okay if they don't have an answer to Lyra. You know what I mean? Like, come on, just don't have an answer to it. That was their last card outside of the card they drew now. <laughs> so, you know. Fingers crossed. This is real magic, 30. Yeah, that's true. 
Wouldn't this have been better for Magic 30? Like, Magic 30, we're releasing Dominary Remastered. They've had two cards to draw to, uh, to deal with my Lyra. Two cards is what they get. And you know, you know how much, you know, like good PR they could have saved from that whole Magic 30 debacle? Okay, a ghoul. That guy's... Anything would have been better than what they did. That's true. But it's... Yeah, that's... that's the, Oh, wow. Oh, what? Really? Don't you just attack with this guy and then, like, sack, like, a million dudes? I don't understand. I don't feel like I should have won that three life. This guy's so good. What? You attack, I have to block. You sack two creatures, I lose Lyra. Yeah, it has summoning sickness now, but not when it... I mean, I can't attack, so they just do it next turn. If I try to Icarus slick it, they sack a guy. I, I don't understand. That guy's way stronger than they just gave it credit for. Now we're definitely bringing this guy in. Street Wraith is nice because it does have Swamp Walk. <sighs> Crawl Space did some work there, though. That was like our version of, of Maze of Ith, basically. I'll take out Undead Gladiator. Well, I definitely don't think there's enough value in Dominary Remastered to be the the packs for a grand, you know, but oh god, come on. Thank I'll, you. I'm on the draw. I'm going to keep it. This is Odysseus, I guarantee you. Josh, what up, my dude? Oh my god, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Thank you. Oh my god, Josh, you're the man, dude. Always good to see you, buddy. I didn't even know you were in the chat. Thank you. I'm going to keep it. And we're going to put this guy on the bottom. Maybe I should have put Terror, though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what up, Josh? Josh, man, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. Come on, Black Source. Thank you. Come on, Black Source. You didn't hear me when I said, come on, Black Source? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, look at this guy. I'm going to let him take their point. Thank you. And then I'm going to swords this guy. I don't, I don't need to be taking the five damage here. Thank you. You only got, I mean, there's only going to be 10, right? You did half of them. Land. Thank you. Cool. Super cool. We're doing well. I mean, I feel like if we don't land next turn, we're in the game. If we don't, we're out of the game. 2-1 one and 1-1 one one and 1-1. One one. Yep, that'll do. Come on, land into, into Wrath of God. That's all we want. Mediocre Magic Man, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you. Oh, I gave him a little regeneration shield. Would you look at that? Adorable. What is this? What set is this guy from? Goblin Turncoat. I actually don't even know what that card... I've never seen that card in my life. Let's find out. Legions. Oh, I recognize that art. Yeah, that's much different. Discard a card. Oh, gee, what will I discard? Swamp. We're very good at this game. Uh, I will not be paying kicker this time, my friend. Any land, we get to play Lyra. This is a zombie. Look at that beautiful guy. I will not be paying. Yep, you got it. I've not played much MTG at all recently. My favorite format was in person commander and COVID kind of killed that, but I still enjoy hanging out. Man, I like hearing that. I hear that from a lot of people. Like, I don't even play much Magic, but I still enjoy your content. Like, it's such a cool thing to say because it's, 
I think we're dead here. You know, because it puts more on the on the content itself than the game, you know. And I appreciate that like our chat is such that it like cultivates this kind of this cool atmosphere where people can just hang out and feel Thank welcome, you. you know. Oh, what up, Primaris Powerhouse? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Josh, if you also if you wanna if you wanna check out HelloFresh, I definitely 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 recommend that as well. Got stuck on the definitely there. And they give me a pretty sick kickback for all the subscriptions that I get up and through up and up until February first. Up and through is up through and up until comp combined. I'm doing good on the words here. Through and up, 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 and a through way. You know, something like that. What's the most you ever lost on a coin flip? That's a good question. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? <laughs> Added that bad boy to the soundboard. Uh, yes, this is a snapperino. So, presuming our life total is able to be preserved uh, well enough until turn four, now that we've seen Chain Lightning, I will definitely play Phyrexian Scuda as a 5-5. Five five. Currently, I get meals from Factor. Oh, I think you you might have you might have mentioned that actually. Isn't Factor? Um, I think Factor is done by HelloFresh actually. Into each. Oh, they didn't play a two drop. That's interesting because I feel like they have a lot. God, Frexian Rager is so good. And I really wish Icker Slick was a sorcery. And by that I mean instant. Street Wraith. I guess we're just going Scuda. And if they want to like attack and chain lightning, that's probably fine. I'll take that two for one. But he drew a card off the re- Oh, fascinating. It's like the mirror match over here. I mean, I'm going to definitely save these and hope we get to six so that we can start drawing cards off of them, but... I will also trade with their, <laughs> their Scooter. Scooter for scooter. Get busy scooting. That's what I always say. Oh, that's fascinating. I am fascinated by that. I don't think we're there yet, though. I think we can get them to put more things down. I like this form because I'm always finding new and interesting way to lose the goblins. Yeah, it's really, it's got a lot of depth that way. I will take two. Yes. What? That's it? Ah, man. Stink city. All goblins are black and are zombies. Okay, well. I really don't want to commit any more creatures without <laughs> casting Wrath of God. I 
I think we just Wrath the next turn we can play Chainer or kill like whatever they play. I'm hoping it's not the end of me. It's still like a three for three because they drew one off of Rager, but Duress, sure. So three to three, huh? Except I got a guy out. God, Jesus, what is, the, how many Icker Slicks have been cast in this draft so far? Definitely was a whelp, guess I'll wrath. I mean, I just can't move forward without wrathing, you know? Got a 2-2. Two -two. You had both of these. Why didn't you play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? You had 7 mana last turn. Why didn't you play the Prospector as well? Maybe you just drew that? I don't know. This is nice because drawing the card is not dependent on whether the target is still there after the sacrifice. Yeah, add your red for no reason. People love doing that, man. It's like their favorite thing ever. Oh, Sukata Lancer, huh? Uh, let's block here, kill this guy, take two, hope to draw Lyra here, Mindstone is kind of like Lyra a little bit, pitch that hand, land and a terror, not bad. I actually might swords one of these guys. I have four removal spells in my hand, and I think just preserving a life total when they're in top deck mode is probably more important. I mean, taking two a turn is much different than taking four a turn. In case you guys didn't know, it's literally twice as much. Lyra? That's not bad. And in fact, it's actually pretty good. I also miss cube already. This is not a substitute for cube by any means. Like what? Just it, they should have a cube up at every at any given time. They can rotate through twelve different cubes, put them up for one month each. They can have the vintage cube up three times, four times a year probably. So that's that. I don't know. Like that seems pretty cool. We already know there's a proliferate cube. We know of the Live the Dream Cube. Vintage Cube could take four months. That's six months already. I can I can submit my Innistrad Horror Cube. Um, I'm going to play this. One, two. Three. 
because they're probably going to take that anyway, which leaves us with two cards. And then if we want to remove that creature, we have one card. But now they take a card and we have two cards and the creature's already gone. So we're up a card by doing that. And we still get to play Jeldoran Gargoyle. Or that one. That's the ticket. Let's bring the dawn. Uh, no, I will not. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Whew, boy, this this has been a, a roller coaster. For what it's worth, draft on arena doesn't totally suck these days. The price and lack of TCG and flavor in favor of CCG isn't great, but the game plays. I agree with that, and I, I have liked the recent sets. Like I, I was thinking, like I, I almost like might like bro draft more than this, so we might do that. But I mean, that being said, I still prefer Cube <laughs> to all of it. I think Cube is just such a rich interactive experience interactive experience either the games are very quick and you lose to something cool like a channel emrakul or through the breach emrakul or sneak attack gristle brand or tinker blightsteel colossus right like you're losing something ridiculous but unless they're playing storm you kind of know you're dead or there's a cool situation where you have an out to this cool thing and then you get to feel cool and rewarded and I think I just think cube is some of the most rewarding play you can get. I really have no idea like what I'm up against in this format. Polluted mire open. When you guys do the follow age, do you get whispered something? Because I've never seen an actual response from follow age. Oh, interesting. I've never I've never added or removed it, so Oh god. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. So now you have one mana. Oh, I guess you do get to tap the land, sure, but night. Okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm hip. I want to play Crawl Space because I feel like they're probably going to go wide here. Nightscape Familiar is a, a solid gentleman. Well, that's funny because I have the Stream Elements bot in here. Stream Elements, the Stream Elements bot is in there. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. All right, fingers crossed this guy doesn't get, doesn't get, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ganked? Ganked is maybe the word I'm looking for. Hmm, fascinating. They just netted mana.
There's a lot of things you're doing, but I got that crawl space, you know what I mean? Hmm, that's a good card. I think she's going to die. I think they're going to activate their debaser and then also remove three toughness from her in some way. That is my prediction. Be it chain lightning or uh, what's that other card? Oh, God, I can't think of it. It's the black card. I, I feel like someone has played at this draft. I don't know. Cycled the Mire, which does feel slightly desperate. Coal Stoker. They have one card in hand. Yes, Pickle Slick. That was it. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. And they only have four power in the air. And I don't know if you heard this, but Lyra has first strike anyway. So... Wrath of God is going to... Oh, come on. That's terrible. All right, they're on the four turn clock, but I guess it's not a clock because they can just block for three turns. So it's more like a seven turn clock. Get that decoy going. I remember when Lyra was the most valuable card in type two. Was she more than Teferi? I remember she was like a $30 card at one point. That was a pricey standard format, that Dominaria Ravnica format. Fascinating. I will take three damage from the sky. Dude, crawl space is MVP this draft. Uh, the clear attacks. Okay, I feel like we're in good shape. Not sure what they could draw that really like takes this game back. Okay, they debased my Nomad decoy. They're raging. Hmm, fascinating. Satisfying reset button, I guess. All right. They have to block here or else they're dead. Okay, well, I guess they're dead anyway. They are going wide, my friend. I'm okay with this deck. We just want to wrath, that's all. Let's just wrath at an appropriate time. What button is Windmill Slam? I don't think there is. I don't think we have one. I just remember when she came out and suddenly outpriced Cryptic Command was Shock Lauren Fairies. I feel like I feel like you're thinking of a different card. Are you you're not talking about Lyra Dawnbringer because this just came out in Dominaria. This card's only like three years old. I 
I like the way you die, boy. Dude, I try to get that on the soundboard, but there's so much orchestral music behind it that it's just not good. And I wish there was a way to remove that. But I'm not an audio engineer and I don't have uh, access to the original tracks so that I can't like mute the music and only have the the voice. Diamond area is turning five this year. That makes sense. 2018. Yeah, it was 2018. So that makes sense. Yeah, this format really reminds me of Vintage Masters, but without the power. I could indeed be misremembering something. Hold, please. I'll, I'll wait. If you can find the recording of the music, maybe on the soundtrack or something, you can invert the audio and then layer it over the clip and it will cancel the music out. That sounds insane. Uh, I'm definitely keeping this because we have the piece de resistance. Phase cancellation. Oh, what up, my boy? Lucky, 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 lucky. Spencer Carlson, my dude. Always a pleasure, man. Oh, man, so good to see you, dude. I was thinking of Bane Slayer. It feels like a prototype for all. Yes, they're very similar. Trilands do be wild. Oh, look, there's the beauty. Big buttes. I'm tempted to cycle this because we're running low on lands here, and I kind of like lands. I need a break from Last of Us 2. <laughs> that is a game where you kind of need to take breaks. We haven't played the second one yet, but we have beaten the first one, and I know, like, you know, you kind of got to pace yourself. Yield until the next end step. Lyra was a Bane Slayer until she got promoted. That's true. I assume. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's just constant stress, man. It's rough. I would take Screaming Resident Evil 8 Baby over it. Yeah, that's, that's not great. That doesn't sound ideal. So the, the question is, how many creatures do I throw out here before uh, Wrathing of Godding? I think it's at least this guy. Okay. Okay. That's actually really good for us because, you know, they waste the card and we get to save our card. It's almost like a two for one for us. Or two for none? I don't even know.
You should never fact check anything I say. You won't like what you find. Wait. Was that based on, what is that referencing? Is that referencing the audio thing? Cause did you make that up? Oh my God. Or is it the Lyra thing? Shit, I don't know what's real anymore. K-R-A-F-T. I'm playing a card that like should theoretically force them to overcommit. And then we're gonna Wrath and then we're gonna Lyra. I'll be honest, this hand feels utterly insane, right? It's like three removal spells. Two rares, one is a bomb, one gets back the other, and this guy's also just removal, so. Are right, trying to review or something someone talked about, talked over? Okay, so I wanna have the clip from Django Unchained where he says, I like the way you die, boy. But there's like, in, there's like, there's music from the score behind him that's going on at the time. So it's really hard to just get that dialogue portion out without like this weird portion of the score being like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then it's like over after two seconds, you know? Okay. So just right on my creature. Yeah. An inverse karaoke mix. I don't know what it, I don't, uh, sure. Now we can play this guy because it blocks both the tokens. So again, should force them to overcommit. But who knows? They could just kill this guy with a chain lightning and then attack for four. If you invert Lyra and layer over a Bane Slayer Angel, you get Icarus Slayer. <laughs> this doesn't sound correct. I think that's what he was talking about when he said, like, don't listen to me. See, this is what we were hoping for. This nonsense. So then you're gonna put back this, I bet. No? You just put back a swamp, an island? What in the earth? Look how look how much look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Alright, now is the time. Because they only have like two cards in an island. Give me that land too. Okay, it's not a land, but I'll take it. Now we take what is ours. I wouldn't be surprised if they conceded here, to be honest. That's a frustrating bunch of bullshit. That guy's good. So they play the island. They played this. Oh, look at that cackler. Look at that little cackler. Um, it might just be Chainer. Eh, we can get rid of Crawl Space at this point. That makes sense. That makes more sense than... They have one card in hand. I feel like our hand is fairly unbeatable. He isn't going to be cackling when he sees the face of the dawn. <laughs> yeah, wipe that shit eating grin off your face, you little cackler. It's your girl. That's messed up, dude. Like, you, you had terror in hand? What an absolute scum lord. I kind of want to land here so I can go Zealot Icker Slick. Ooh, 
Wow. I am surprised the position we were in. What has happened? What, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> oh dang it i don't know what to do here we have a couple options we could play zealot into mind stone block to but if we die the problem is if they have any removal for the zealot or if they have a chain lightning we die but chain lightning isn't here so that's good We could just double Icker Slick, leave them with one gentleman. I don't love that though. I think we're just gonna go Mystic Zealot here. Cross our fingers, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that this game took this turn. I did not expect I did not expect terror when they had one card in hand. So they're going to kill our zealot and then alpha. Seems good. That's unfortunate. We are at one. Do not deal me one point of damage. That doesn't do it. Okay. So four, five, six, we can sack this. Still have enough mana for the double Icker Slicks. But I'm really hoping we get that three, three life Lincoln gentleman. Mm, that's not. The saddest of days has befallen us. I mean, honestly, if if they have a, a one land in hand and we get to Gerard's verdict, it that seems good. Okay. 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 If they ha it's not removal, it's not a creature, else they would have played it. So it might just be sandbagging a land, which is actually great for us because it's just free life. <sighs> Beautiful. That also means EOT, we can get back Lyra and pay the three life now. That actually sounds absolutely disgusting. Come on, one time. Don't just play, just play something stupid and, and irrelevant. That is completely stupid and irrelevant. Okay, we're, we're doing it. We're back in it. One, two... Mindy McStonerton. So if they draw a removal spell, we lose. If they don't, we probably win. That's not a removal spell. That's probably the game. Because Lyra's also a 6-6. Six, six. I even should have attacked with the Zealot last turn, I bet. Lyra, one, two, three. Don't need you. Oh, and we just win the game. That was all right. I'm very curious. 
Well, we would have drawn off Mind Stone. Undead Gladiator, draw for the turn is a Plains. Okay. And then we attack for six with this super cool looking black Angel Nightmare. Thank you guys for watching. 2-1, not terrible for our first uh, Dominary Remastered Draft. I don't know if this format's that good or not. Who knows? Uh, but maybe we'll do another one. Who knows? Anyway, be sure to check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel, and it's under $30. So if you were ever going to do a deck a deck tech or like a, you know, a donation or anything like that, a stipulation, um, just go to HelloFresh instead, get some food, and I get a great kickback from HelloFresh for doing so. And it also leads to potentially more sponsorships in the future if this one's successful. So definitely check them out. It's a great way to support the channel. You get 21 free meals, free, free shipping, and your first order, your meal should come into between four and five dollars each which is just ridiculous so i'll see you next time thanks for watching